and my name is Dr. Holly Schreiber, Director of Education at Pendixie Fossil Park and Nature Reserve. I'm here today to talk to you about the wonderful fossils preserved at Pendixie. Our fossils date to 380 million years ago to a geologic time period called the Devonian. During that time, Western New York was a very different place. North America and Europe were combined on a single land mass that straddled the equator. Western New York was located in the tropics, actually south of the equator. This entire region was covered by a shallow, warm ocean. A coral reef covered this area full of abundant and diverse life. Let's look at some of the animals that inhabited this prehistoric ocean. These animals are some of the fossils you will find at Pendixie today. First, we have the corals. Many types of corals were found in the Devonian Sea, just like the oceans today. Corals are the most common fossils found at Pendixie. Rugose corals, commonly called horn corals, are named for their horn-shaped skeletons. Tabulate corals are named for the table-like horizontal structures of their skeletons called tabulae. Both horn corals and tabulate corals were prevalent during the Devonian, forming large, diverse reefs, similar to the Great Barrier Reef today. These two groups of corals became extinct 250 million years ago leaving only their distant, uh, distantly related relatives on Earth today. Like corals today, they were suspension feeders, grabbing food out of the water by their tentacles. Another common fossil is, uh, are the brachiopods. They were very abundant during the Devonian. Their shells consist of two halves, like clams of today. Brachiopods are still alive today, but are found usually in deeper and colder waters um, than they have in the past. Brachiopods are often confused with clams because of similarities in their shells. However, they are very different animals and only uh, distantly related. Crinoids are arguably one of the most beautiful components of the Devonian seas. Crinoids are members of a group of animals called echinoderms. Think of crinoids as cousins to sea urchins, starfish, sand dollars. Um, however, they looked very different. They looked like flowers. That's where their common name comes from, sea lilies. Though they looked like flowers, they were animals. They filtered the water for particles of food. Crinoids are still alive today, usually at deeper depths of uh, the ocean. Lastly, we have the trilobites. Trilobites are extinct marine arthropods. They're called trilobites because of uh, their bodies. They have three parts to their bodies. They're commonly called the potato bugs of the ocean. They are also known for their eyes. Trilobites had um, the first eyes, the true eyes we see in the fossil record. Um, they were compound eyes like insects have today, and their lenses were made out of calcite, so they preserved very well in the fossil record. They went extinct about 250 million years ago, survived by their uh, most closely related living relative, the horseshoe crab. Now, these four fossils are the most common types of fossils you'll find here at Pendixie, though other animals lived amongst the reef. Things like cephalopods, clams, uh, snails, uh, all lived in this area. And these fossils were preserved um, because of periodic events that buried the, the entire uh, region. Events like uh, landslides or uh, tropical storms. So, we hope to see you out this year, um, this season, to collect your own 380 million year old fossils. Thanks for listening.